Pinaki Mishra from the BJD. The BJD has decided to support the government where it comes down to the Delhi Ordinance Bill. On the other hand, uh, especially uh, where Manipur is concerned, Mr. Mishra, uh, where the no confidence motion is concerned, your party today stands accused of being selfish, looking at very short term goals and not looking at uh, what threatens the federal structure of the country, what threatens democracy as per the opposition. Mr. Naveen Patnaik and the Biju Janta Dal, under his leadership, number one looks to see what is good for Odisha. There is no doubt about that. Because we are a regional party and we feel that the interests of our state are of paramount importance. And that is why the people of Odisha have given Mr. Patnaik five consecutive terms in office and uh, are looking all set to give him a sixth term in 2024. Now, as far as the opposition's charge on the no confidence is concerned and Manipur is concerned, Mr. Patak from day one has said that Manipur has to be looked at from a national prism, an undivided prism. Do not look at it from a divided perspective of government, uh, opposition, uh, this party and that party. He's said we have to speak in one voice. We have to uh, go shoulder to shoulder to ensure that the people of that very unfortunate uh, situation who are in a very unfortunate situation in that beautiful state uh, get immediate relief and succor. So he has said that from day one. I have articulated his position when the Honorable Home Minister uh, took a meeting. Now the opposition unfortunately has missed the woods for the trees uh, as they very often do, as all oppositions do. I think uh, the BJP did that when uh, they were in the opposition to the UPA and now the Congress and other allied parties are doing it when the BJP is in power. Uh, how they miss the woods for the trees is that you know, if you give uh, the government a free pass in parliament by obstructing parliament, the government has nothing to lose. The government continues to pass legislation in the din. Okay. The better thing would have been for the entire house to function, for us to participate on every bill and bring in relevant issues, including Manipur in those, you know, we could weave it into the narrative. So this is a completely short-sighted on the part of the government, or on the part of the opposition. Mr. Mishra, you talk about legislations and bill. Let me uh, bring up a very controversial legislation and a bill which you've sided with the government on. Uh, we had Raghav Chadda just two minutes ago. He said there must have been some compulsions that you feel that you've sided up with the government. But the larger question of it, you talk about viewing it from various prisons where the opposition is concerned, the current circumstances. But has your party viewed it from the federal democracy and the spirit of federalism prison? How does the BJD, sir, justify its support for a bill that technically encroaches upon the powers of an elected state government. Look, Preeti, I'm, I'm going to elaborate on this. Uh, uh, to, you know, I was going to do it today on the floor of the House in my speech. Unfortunately, Parliament didn't run. Hopefully, the bill will be debated tomorrow and you will hear a very well-reasoned debate on why Mr. Patnaik and the Biju Janta Dal has chosen to uh, side with the government on this. It's a purely legal argument. Look, we, we are next to none on the issue of federalism. But we believe in cooperative federalism. We believe in constructive cooperation. We believe that the state and the center must work in partnership. You cannot perpetually be at war with the center and survive. In the constitution that we have, with the fiscal structure that we have, with the present GST architecture that, that, that obtains in this country, it's impossible for a state to just be at constant war with the center needlessly needlessly be adversarial on every little issue, behave like school children and, uh, you know, nitpick on every issue with the central government because you only get the hackles of the central government up and the central government then, uh, you know, digs in its heels, becomes hostile uh, and it doesn't serve the people of the state well at all. And that's the reason why Mr. Patnaik has been able to do so much for uh, the people of Odisha because we are the best run state in terms of fiscal management. We are the best run state in terms of administrative machinery. And that's because we don't constantly nitpick and fight with the center. Please understand. So while we will not compromise on issues of federalism, I will explain how the Biju Janata Dal has studied both the constitution Ben judgments of 2018, of, 2000, of July 2000, uh, the May 2023, and very importantly, now the present writ petition challenge and the seven page order that the Honorable Supreme Court has passed, uh, referring this present petition and the present controversy about the ordinance to five judges the Constitutional Bench. Once you hear my arguments, you will realize 
that there is a compelling reason why we have gone with the government on this and not with the opposition because the uh, uh, shortly put let me tell you this the state of delhi the government of delhi made out a case for a stay in the supreme court pleaded for it and the supreme court has advisedly said that there is a case in favor of the ordinance and therefore no stay is granted this plea for stay was rejected once that is so and the ordinance therefore is now up for challenge it will be decided eventually but then the ordinance to become a bill uh, is just a natural progression so if the supreme court had not, had stayed this then it's a different issue okay. then obviously the ordinance would lapse but the supreme court not having stayed this is a pure legal position which people don't seem to be able to understand